Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a OnePlus 7 Pro and you have an issue where you have a black screen. Okay, something like this, a black screen and you cannot turn it on, you cannot reboot. Maybe you can still hear ringing or vibrations or maybe some of your LED lights will come on. However, you have nothing on your screen. I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get this up, up and running right now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead, we're going to force it to reboot. So let's just pretend I have a black screen here. Obviously, this phone is fixed, but let's, 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 let's just pretend it's a black screen here. So what I want you to do first thing is, is a two-key combination. I want you to press the volume up and the power button. You want to press and hold both of these buttons. Do not let go until we see the OnePlus logo appear. Then we can let go. So let's do this first method together. Volume up, power button. Okay, ready? One, two, Three, press and hold, do not let go. Pretend my screen is black, there's nothing on here. I don't know what's going on. I'm still holding on to both of the buttons. I'm still holding on. I'm waiting for it to reboot and I'm waiting for that OnePlus logo to appear. As you can see right there, now you can go ahead and let go and hopefully your issue is solved. Now if it's not, we're gonna go to the next method. Okay, so you, so you did that method there and your screen is still black. Next thing I want you to do Let's go ahead and plug your phone in. Let it charge for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes is up, come back here and I want you to do the same thing, okay? Force it to restart. Volume up, power button. Let's do it together, ready? One, two, three. Oops, I'm sorry, let's do it again. Volume up, power button. One, two, three, press and hold, do not let go. It's charging still, leave, leave it charging, leave the cable plugged in. Continue to hold both buttons here. And let's wait for that OnePlus logo to appear. Then we're gonna let go. There's a OnePlus logo, go ahead and let go. And hopefully you are out of the black screen. If not, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so for this next step, now it's possible that you have a cable ribbon, cable ribbon that's dislodged somewhere, very slightly, okay? So what we can do here now, first thing is this. Go ahead and turn your phone over, and what, what I want you to do is I want you to press all over on the, black, on the back of the uh, phone here with your two thumbs, put some pressure on it. Go all around the lens, keep going around, turn it over, see if your phone powers on, okay? If not, we're gonna go to the, um, to the front screen now. So you can also grab like a uh, paper uh, towel or something like that, and you can do it like this as well. So go, go to the front screen now, and now I want you to do the same thing. I want you to press. Give it a little bit of pressure all over the screen, all over the front, and then go ahead and give it a try. Try to put the power on and see if it does anything. See if you get anything on the screen. The next thing, if it's still down, next thing I want you to do is I want you to tap all over. All over the front of the screen, turn it over, Tap all on the back here. And then see if your screen lights up. Now the thing is, sometimes there's a combination of like one, two, even three, met three methods that you do will get, get your uh, phone back up and running. So make sure if all these steps don't work, make sure to tr start the video back from the beginning and try every single step again. Now if it still fails, then what I want you to do next is this, this sounds kind of ridiculous, but I've gotten many Android phones, even iPhones up and running this way too, which had a black screen. What you want to do is grab your phone and you can put it in a Ziploc bag. I mean, that's what I typically do. Just put it in a Ziploc bag and then put the phone into the freezer, leave it in there for one hour. After one hour, take it out, take it out of the Ziploc bag and then go ahead and try to fire up your phone. Also, if it doesn't fire up, if you don't see anything on the screen still, go ahead and do the forced restart again while your phone is kind of cold. Remember the volume up, power button, press and hold, and hopefully you'll be out of the black screen. Now again, if none of those methods work for you guys, if it didn't work, guys, try every single step. Try it four, five, six, seven times. I mean, numerous times I have bought phones that had a black screen and I try like all these methods and you know, maybe like 30, 40, 50% of the time, I will eventually get the black screen gone and it'll never come back, okay? Now the last thing I have for you is basically doing a factory reset, but if you do a factory reset, you're gonna lose everything on your phone, okay? Your apps, your saved passwords, your photos, your videos. Anyways, if you wanna do a factory reset, 
uh, what you want to do is just go into your settings here tap onto your settings and then from here you can scroll down all the way to the very bottom it's a system here and then from here under system we're going to have reset options right here tap on reset options and then right here it says erase all da all data factory reset remember if you guys do this you're going to lose all of your information as if you just bought this phone brand new and took it out of the box so hopefully if you have anything important like your photos videos and documents hopefully you already have a backup anyways you would just proceed with erase all factory reset and then tap on uh reset phone from there so pretty much it guys let me know what solution or a combination of solutions work for you thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one